I'm excited for some more losing bets. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm, I'm excited for my um, Hail Mary because I have deliberately kept that from you both because it, it's quality. <clears throat> And since the excitement, you seem pretty pumped for it. So. Oh, can you can you do me a favor? Have you put my Hail Mary on yet? Yeah, I have. Okay, cool. Because the price of Smart Promise is pretty much the reason why it's the current odds. So, okay, yep. Um, yeah, you couldn't bet that until tomorrow. No, no, I have the other pub bet I haven't done, but which I can, I can do that now. The no, no, it's all right. I was just the multi I wanted on straight away. So How just can you to, have, like. That doesn't make sense though, because it's the same horse. True. The problem is, I think the odds might come in because of. Uh, well, okay. Well, then I'm back in now. Then. In fact, uh, well, no. The problem is that things might change. It may get because of scratchings yeah. and shit. That... Yeah. So that might happen anyway. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. So you're able to bet it for the Hail Mary, but you're not able to bet it by itself. No, you can. I was just. I was, well, you can bet it all, but we're just better odds. Just take it, Jesus. I, I'd take the honestly the odds now are amazing. All right, you're gonna be on. <clears throat> I yeah. think you should start there with since we're already into it, you may as well explain All your right. um, bonus bet. Good evening, everyone. Well, let's get I suppose I'll get started because I've gotta be honest, this is I cannot believe what came up today when I saw this. So I am calling this and I have not said this, and this will be the only time I say this all year. This will be the best bet I place all year, without a doubt. So everyone this out there, lay it. Smart, <laughs> this bet on Smart Promise winning on Thursday, or at least eat, take it each way. Yeah, Can't so, wait. so we each have a $50 bonus bet this week. So you want to put 25 on win, 25 on yep. place. I'm taking it each way because it is, I think it's 19 to win and 6 the place at the moment. It's 550 is, the place. 550 the place, which is massive overs. And the reason why I say that is uh, late last week, the whole, one of the horses, I think the horse that ran fifth in the previous race that Smart Promise ran in, won a maiden. So that franks the form there. And even more impressively today was... Hang on. So a horse that beat it... No, no, no. So Smart Promise beat this horse, right? Okay. So Smart Promise in its previous race finished third. The horse that ran fifth in that race um, went and won a maiden. So it actually went and won a race at the same grade. So, it, so because another horse won another race, this that horse was, is... That was one horse. Yeah. So today, the horse that ran second in the race that Smart Promise ran in last time out went out and won over 1,400 metres and won by, I think it was about two and a half lengths. So Smart Promise is running around on Thursday in a, in a maiden over 1,400 metres in a relatively weak field. So that's why I think this is such I mean, an extremely me, good that bet. is still two completely different horses doing completely different things. Therefore, yeah, but, you, the other reason. The two horses that have come out of the race that Smart Promise ran in previously have gone on to win. So that's, it kind of shows how strong the strength of that race is. Not necessarily. Anyway, so at the price, I think it's a massive, I think it's miles over. I realistically think Smart Promise should be starting around the 6 or $7 mark in the race on Thursday, so. I mean, possibly, but Sorry. very solid logic. Well, um, so we've started doing that, but so that's my fifty dollar. Yeah. Um, my other, my other fifteen dollar bonus bet multi. I've taken West Coast to beat North Melbourne at the wonderful price of a dollar oh six. Uh, big call. Take, yeah, big call. Uh, I've oh. taken St Kilda one to twenty four against GWS taken Richmond to beat Adelaide. I've taken Geelong at the pick your own line of minus 10 and a half to beat Sydney. And I've taken the Western Bulldogs one to 39 against Fremantle. So they're my two multis for the week. I think they're both actually a reasonably good chance of doing well. So awesome. I'm, I'm liking where I'm heading so far. Well, now that we've done your tips, um, I think we should go back 
before we go into the rest and go over last week's results. Hmm. Um, Smart promise with 21s. Yeah. Yeah, they're asking. Processing, processing, processing. Chill me on there. Not if they're watching live, even though we're not broadcasting live. We're not broadcasting. You see, I'm telling you now, it's way overs. Even if, even if like we lose 20% to scratchings, it'll still be way overs at 15 or $16. So. I mean, I guess we'll see, but. I'm launching it each way, fuck it. Each way is the best, the best way to go. Like a true DJ. <laughs> Because we think, because um, we it's going to get around about barrier five, barrier six after all the scratchings, and after the field's finalised. So I think it's in a very good spot to win for its first time. So take the time to process this, Jesus. So <clears throat> all right, let's go back to last week then. Yep. So. Well, you see me ching to start because you had your winner. So why don't you go ahead and brag? I had a winner. Yeah, I did have a winner. That was pretty cool. Um, happens on occasion. <laughs> really? Yeah, but what was the winner, Andrew? It was Trinobago Night Riders, Arsenal, and then Crystal Palace. Okay, nice. Yeah, so I had the Arsenal. I won 3 0. I did say that. All against Thorn. And I had Crystal Palace, who won 1 0. Then I had the Trinbago Knight Riders in the Caribbean Premier League final, and they won all 10 group games in the semi final and, the, and then the final. So they were 12 and 0 for the tournament. Just way too good solid. for everyone else. So, um, overs as far as I'm concerned. Well, it was good that that got up. So. Yeah, and then the other two lost. I had Everton get up, which was paying like 4.33, but uh, Newcastle beat West Ham, so that killed that multi. That was paying $15, so that would have been a good one. But. Then what you the had heck? a solid um, double loss multi. Draw solid between double. Watford and... The last one doesn't need to be talked about. <laughs> Zero legs um, out, of, out of two. Pretty okay, I guess. How many legs do you reckon you hit on your um, Hail Mary? You had uh, seven? Three? One. <laughs> 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 One from seven. <laughs> Yikes. Wow, that's bad. Now, you also took six people to win a um, golf tournament and not None one of them. One. Did you see who won that golf tournament, Andrew? Oh, uh, who was it? Was it Stuart Sink or something? Stuart, Stuart Sink. Yeah, yeah. So for the average, the average person out there, the last time he won was 2009. And that was when he beat Tom Watson to win the British Open. Stuart Sink, major winner. <laughs> yes. His last win was the 2009 British Open. Wow. <laughs> he only won that because of Tom Watson choked too. Yes. <laughs> it's not like you really it. No, Tom Watson <laughs> should have won that tournament, yeah, honestly. So, That's a massive wow. joke. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone saw that one coming just quietly. No. No well, well, in my multi, now this is pretty fucking brutal. Losing on the 49ers, who. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was in the bad. final two minutes were fucking ready to score and then they got stopped. So. Yeah. That was brutal. I didn't see the game. How much did they lose by? It was, they lost by three points, four points. Oh, yeah. Four points and they were on like the, they had like second and five on the 16. Yeah. Oh, geez. And then, yeah, when it went out and um, got the fourth down, couldn't make it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, not good. <laughs> the random guy on YouTube Live covering it that I watched was not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty priceless. Like this guy just kept talking the whole time. And then all of a sudden it's just silence. He's just like looking there nearly crying, like literally nearly crying over this. 
I did watch it for about a minute or something. And, the, and he was talking. He was talking shit on. about other like um, quarterbacks in the league and like how they're not as good as um, like Mahomes is not as good as uh, Garoppolo and stuff. And then it got to that point, and then he's like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back next time. There's only one game." Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> well, that's what you do when you're a diehard fan. So, yeah, that was um. Pretty bad. Then my next one, I hit one out of four legs. <laughs> um, well, Max King didn't kick a goal. And by that point, I'd lost interest. But then I had Tom Lynch to kick two goals, who then goes and gets injured. Then Tom Hawkins to kick two goals, and I think he only kicked one. So, yeah. Then was even a worse um, loss because this could have really won at fucking good odds too. So it was 16 to 1. Now, two legs, Sydney versus Newcastle to win by 1-12, to 12, except for fucking Newcastle decided to throw the game before it even started and rest their best players. And then um, <laughs> Sydney won, but they didn't win by the march. Like it w- it, if Newcastle had actually tried and played their play- people, it would have been close. Then the next game... Melbourne Storm won to 12 again, but they won by 16. However, one of the players for um, the Cowboys called the ref a fucking cunt and therefore <laughs> got sent off when they had the ball as well. So, <laughs> so they scored like 10 points while that happened. So if you wipe that out, they would have actually won by 1 to 12. Mm. So both bets, in theory, at 4 to 1 should have won, but... But fucked over. But they didn't. So. Yeah, I know. Be like, you can't expect that they're going to fucking rest their best players for no reason. I mean, I think you could probably guess that they might call the ref a fucking cunt there. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's... how are you going to how are you going to guess that a player's going to call the ref a cunt and get himself kicked off? <laughs> NRL. Yeah, true. But still. <laughs> That's it. how many legs did I hit out of my um? Two. One, two, three. I hit four out of 11 legs on my Hail Mary, so slightly better result, but <laughs> still pretty well, shit. Not quite not quite harsh. How many did Marcus get? Hold on. Let's go through mine because I've got yeah. all I know is, so I'll go through my bets. So my two same game multis that I had, the results actually got up. I got, but guess what? what? Here's, here, so, so remember I took the West Coast? Same game multi and then the Richmond same game multi. Celebrating, yeah. No, no, no. You so, hit no. one out of four legs at money multis, yeah. Yeah, but guess here's the best thing. So Tom Lynch. So the two of the players in one of the players in each of those same game multis got injured. Which had no effect on it losing because you lost anyway. I know, <laughs> but still the sheer fact that were cooked by half time because someone was injured. Made me extremely tilted. Yeah, but you didn't win anyway, annoying. so it was like. So, um, then I had my racing multi, which annoyingly, well, sorry, National Choice ran second last in its race, so that was no good. <laughs> um, and I know my hail mary was dead after the racing legs because all the three racing legs I had in it, they all ran second. Well, Stephanie, whatever, Curia Q at 17 to 1 didn't win. So No, she was. finished tied fifth, tied fifth Steph Kiriakou in the Swiss Open. What I say, a pretty good performance by a 19-year-old. Well, you hit six out of 12 legs. So the I only, actually hit 50%. The only problem is that two legs haven't even um, happened yet. So we don't yeah, even know. Yeah, you bet the RPL. So I so already I actually get the extra five bucks from each of you this week. No, 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 no. We were starting it from this week. We said, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, the the leg I was proudest of getting up was there a safety car being in the Formula One. Well, you should have just bet it. Not. the absolute carnage in that. So there was a safety car and two red flags just for good measure. Um, I think 12 cars finished the race. There was a safety car after the first, there was a safety car after the second corner. Wow. So 
I was pr- I was fairly confident that that was going to happen, considering considering the nature of the track, and it was the first time the drivers were racing there ever. So, in a Formula One race, I'm predicting the reason that James is withholding his Hail Mary multi is because he's got 19 one dollar legs and a twenty thousand dollar leg just to focus on <laughs> the five dollar bet. That could be, but we're not going to know until we get to the point. I'm calling it now, but that's what's happening. Yeah, it probably is. Um, okay. No, so. but there's a secondary bet from the multi as well, which I haven't disclosed either. So there's Second plenty in this. From the multi. Yeah. So we'll get to it in due time. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So. All right, so let's just get into the real bets then. So, so I've done mine. So James, lead off with yours. All right. Well, what have I done? Did you do um, your fifty dollar bet, Marcus? Yes, that was twenty five each way on Smarty on Thursday. No, That's no, no, the fifty dollar bet, not the fifteen. Fifteen dollar multi. I, I thought I, yeah, yeah I yeah. think I, yeah, uh, I am. I, I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll go through it again. Yeah, yeah. You definitely yeah. didn't. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So I've done. Well, I've taken West Coast at a dollar oh six. Remember, I said how stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. You went through it. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, James, you go. All right, well, my $50 multi, I have a two-leg same-game multi of Jack Darling and Liam Ryan to kick a goal. I've then got Christian Petrarca to kick a goal um, because, as we all know, Essendon are fucking terrible, so <laughs> and that's basically a give me. I, I genuinely thought about taking Melbourne at the line this week because I know we have no motivation to play well whatsoever. Long enough, like, Sorry? I wanted to take Melbourne 40 plus, but it's just not long enough. Like, what price was it at? And also, Melbourne are fucking hopeless and just not reliable. Sorry? What was it? What price? Like $4 or $5. Oh, that's, like, yeah, okay. Like, it's not good enough. No. Um, I've then taken um, Elliot Himmelberg from Adelaide to kick a goal and Jack Rewald to kick two goals and then Charlie Cameron to kick a goal. Which is paying six dollars seventy seven. Um, I've then in my fifteen dollar multi, I've taken West Coast with the um, great value of a dollar six. I've taken South Sydney at the great value of a dollar ten. I've taken Parramatta Eels at the great value of a dollar twelve. I've taken. <laughs> It, it, to be fair, it's not my fault that six out of the eight NRL games are um, under a dollar fifteen favorites. Doesn't mean you have to bet them. It yeah. does. Um, it would be irresponsible not to. Um, <laughs> and then I've taken Melbourne Storm. Swedish ice hockey multi or something. I could have, but then that wouldn't be the same. I've then taken Melbourne Storm at a dollar twelve. I've taken Sydney Roosters at a dollar nine. Brisbane Brisbane Lions at a dollar seventeen. Canberra Raiders at a dollar fifteen. Geelong at a dollar seventeen. <laughs> Newcastle Knights at huge value of a dollar thirty one. And then the real roughy of um, Western Bulldogs at a dollar forty two. So eleven legs combined, paying five dollars sixty nine. <laughs> there is no chance that gets up. Well, we'll wait and see. No chance, he said. We'll see. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. So there's no chance. There's one of those NRL ones will just go 69. down. I'm fairly confident on most of the NRL ones. Okay. I mean, the only one I'm worried about is um, Newcastle Knights because that's a dollar thirty-one, and that's pretty high odds. So you know, there's a chance yeah, they might lose. I don't know, but they're going to rest all of their players or something, right? Well, they rested them last week, so you would think that this week they'd be fucking back. Maybe they need some more rest. Well, they, this is literally a team playing for finals. It's not like they're fucking they rest them for finals. Yeah, possibly. Um. So yeah, and then I've taken a ten dollar bet on the Gold Coast Titans at a dollar. Oh, sorry, at two dollars eighty to beat Manly. There you go. You can't throw those crazy odds into a multi. That's too reckless. It is. So the multis with these dollar seventeen shots. That's how it's done. It is. Yeah, good strat. I like it. 
I mean, it's it's the odds are scary, but they're okay. <laughs> scary and how high they are, so therefore the chance of them losing. But you know, we'll get there. Maybe. So on to right. you. And so are yours. All right. So my fifty dollar bonus bet multi is paying seven dollars. So I have Richmond to beat Adelaide. Um, I'm surprised Richmond at dollar twenty four against Adelaide. I mean, they're playing for a. They need to win to make top four. So. Yeah, That'll but Adelaide have done. improved a bit. They have, but this is the thing. I think there's so much hype on Adelaide have improved a bit and they're playing better, but like they're beating the likes of Carlton. Like, the reason why it's a dollar twenty four and a dot and not a dollar oh four is because they've won the last three games. That's why. And also, um, you have Lynch out and you have Soldo out. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Lynch out matters at all. They want to flag without him. Like, they, like, yeah, but they've changed clearly since. Yeah, then, so. I mean, yeah, it's. it's but it's also, a, like, the, you, you also take out, like, people like Stack and the other guy. It's starting to, like, they have a shitload of people out. So the thing is, Richmond has got the motivation to win. So. Yeah, exactly. And they've got they've but got so do Adelaide. Some of them. It's not like no, they don't. No, they don't. Like some high school kid. Like it's fine. The dollar twenty four is big price against the bottom of the side um, team. Yeah, but Adelaide aren't playing like a team that have given up. The, okay, they're not playing like the team that are eighteen. Sure, but it's Richmond against Adelaide. Yeah. And it's Richmond with motivation. Exactly. That's they, the thing. Like, it's for a top four spot. It means a lot. They're just not going to lose anyway. We'll see. Um, then I got the Bulldogs a dollar forty two against Fremantle again. Same thing. The Bulldogs. The game matters for them, and they're better than Fremantle. So you're not going to get the the games where they're not putting in the effort. Like these games matter. It's like, so dollar forty two. I quite like. Um, and then I've gone to the Premier League. I've got Arsenal to beat West Ham. We looked super on the weekend. So I'm very happy to take a dollar fifty-three. Uh, West Ham suck, as predicted. Um, and then Newcastle, $2.60. Um, you know, they just had that 2 0 win looking good. And Brighton, I think Brighton are going down, to be honest, this year. I think they're done. Um, so that's my $50 multi, paying seven. Then the smaller fifteen dollar bonus bet multi is paying seven dollars forty six. So I got Melbourne at the line minus twelve and a half against the Bombers. As an Essendon supporter, I think that's an outstanding bet. Yeah, I mean Essendon are just caught. Melbourne actually have some motivation. Like I think, I, oh, and also I think the Essendon players are just looking to go home at this point. Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, they're cooked. Bell Chambers retired today. So. Yeah, yeah, and like. Stringer's been horrendous since he's come back. He's done nothing. Yeah. He's but out of shape and, like, struggling to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like Danaher had that one good game, but since then he hasn't done anything. I mean, it's harder when you don't get any ball last game. But yeah. They're just no good. Um, next leg is over two and a half goals in the Leeds in the Fulham game. I don't know if you saw the... Um, Leeds game against Liverpool, but that was 3-2. Um, Leeds look good going forward. Um, the fact that they gave up three goals, it wasn't as bad as it looks, but it's also that we scored three against Fulham. Um, they're going to concede goals. Leeds are good going forward. I could easily see this being 3-0, but even if it's not, over two and a half goals, I think it's quite good. Yep. Um, and then I got Australia to beat England in the last one-day game at two dollars oh eight. Um, I think it's fairly a toss of a coin, but if you get slight underdogs, good enough. What's happened in the first? I know we lost. We won the, the f- one, and then we lost the second one. Okay. We made two hundred and two twenty, two thirty, and then we yeah. got pulled out for like two oh four. Apparently, we had it in the bag too, and then yeah, it was a tough, it was a tough pitch. That's the thing about that one. It was a tough pitch. I went to bed. I'm, they were doing well. I'm like, well, it's not over. But yeah. Um, I also have bankroll bets. 
So I have five dollars on each of the bankroll bets. So I've gone to the first game of the Indian Premier League. I've got Quinton de Kock to be top scorer for Mumbai um, at three dollars seventy-five. I mean, the name alone just makes it worth it. You got a bet on the bet on the cock. The cock is good. He's very good. The cock, the cock. cocks, always good bets. I'm trying to remember who it was that um, was in the rest of the team. Why I took him? I think he was second favorite. It might have been Rohit Sharma and um, Chris Lynn from memory. Rohit Sounds Sharma and Chris. Lynn. Um, Chris Lynn's not in good form, and then you know. Probably Chandler or the good. Chris um, Lynn anyway, either makes got, 15 runs or 100 runs when he goes out, doesn't when he plays, doesn't he? In T20 matches. So. Chris Lee, yeah, I always say 15 or 100. He's just not doing well. So okay. he's not in form. He's not the one to take. Um, and then I've gone the Chennai top run, run scorer to be right there. Um He's playing sixes. It's a good price. You can bat. And the, I've forgotten who the other guys were, but they're not as reliable, but I'd want to take them at the skinny prices. Um, and then I've bet some NFL games for no reason whatsoever. I've got Carolina Panthers to beat Tampa Bay. The bets actually seem fairly decent for the odds. <clears throat> well, the reason I took it, like I didn't, I haven't watched any of the. Oh, I watched some NFL this morning actually, but I don't know. I feel like the whole. Systems changed in Tampa Bay with Brady there, and they obviously lost. And it's just like I don't know. I feel like yeah, they didn't play well last week. So this is the thing: four dollars sixty is a big price. Yeah. So yeah. So I just went with it, and then I went with the Washington Football Team, as they're now known, at three forty two <laughs> against the Arizona Cardinals. You know, I went to their NFL website, right, and it's still got the Redskins logo on the Washington. <laughs> I don't know if that's an Australian thing, but it, it says Washington. It's, it's, so they're known as a Washington football team at the moment, yeah. But yeah. it's got the Redskins logo still on. I was there this morning. It's still got the logo. Strange. Um, yeah, Washington won last week, and they're paying $3.52, so that's good enough for me, my extensive knowledge of the sport. Um, and then I had to have another bet on Melbourne, given S, and then they're just garbage. So I got Melbourne 25 plus at $2.70. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I, I can, that was see, us, I can see us losing by 50, like, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, they could win easily. But the thing is, even if it's close enough and they, they just, you know, tack on a couple more at the end, mm. can they get the 25 plus? And yeah. Every chance that they just blow them out anyway. So Yeah. So those are my bets. Do you want to do your Hail Mary while you're on a roll? All right. Get into the Hail Marys. That I almost forgot about. Yes. I almost forgot about. I did forget about. You have to remind me. So I've come up with some nonsense from the French Liga. I would love it if you... It was very clear you did a lot of homework on this. and I I would love it if you somehow managed to tip the entire weekend's action in. in. Um. No reason whatsoever for any of these bets, if I'm being honest. So I've got Leon against, I don't even know how to pronounce, Neem? Names, yeah. Names with an S when it's French. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, and then I've got a draw with Alonze against Bordeaux. And then I've got a draw, see, Ren with ES is pronounced Ren. Yeah, it's Ren, yeah. So that's why I reckon it's Neem. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> draw... This is like good good tips here, guys. This is the one. Um, I'm going to draw I mean, just go back to when you were watching it last, like last week, and the, what the commentators said, because clearly you know your stuff. So totally, <laughs> totally. No, this is this is a hot tip. A draw between Ren and Monaco, and then I got PSG to beat Nice. And a draw between Mets and Ren. Got Brest to beat Lorient. I've gone draw between Strasbourg and Dijon. Gone Montpellier to beat Angers. And I've gone a draw between Nantes and Saint Etienne. And then I've got Marseille to beat Lille. And that is paying 7,423.3. That that would be amazing if that gets up, to be honest. It'll be dead by (laughs) Lebron. 
You can always dream. It would be amazing. It'd be nice if someone actually got past the first leg. <laughs> right. So we could actually get excited about one of these. It's All right. Yeah. My 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 Hail Mary this week. Uh I've actually only got five legs. So I've taken Arsenal to beat West Ham. Richmond one to thirty nine against Adelaide. Taken smart promise to win on Thursday. Taken Adam Scott to be the top Australian golfer at the US Open at Winged Foot this week. And I've taken Xander Shoffley to be the top American golfer this week at the US Open this week. So that pays about eleven hundred dollars or something at the moment. So, so there's only there's only there's only five legs in there, but I think they're all a reasonable chance of happening. So we'll know by Thursday one way or the other what's gonna happen. So yeah, when I mind it. Better yeah, than- it's actually got a fairly decent chance for one of these things, for the yeah. Hail Marys. Well, <laughs> time for <laughs> um, So to start off with, I've taken West Coast to beat um, North Melbourne, but I'm not super confident that he's going to beat them, so I've taken plus 13 and a half. <laughs> so West Coast plus 13 and a half is a dollar or one. <laughs> I've um, taken Storehammer to beat Fauna in um, Handball, which is a reasonably priced dollar or six. Um, I've taken South Sydney Rabbitohs to beat Canterbury Bulldogs. Now, they were a dollar ten, but I'm not confident they're just going to win, so that's why I've taken them plus 8.5, which is a dollar or three. I've taken FC Barcelona to beat. Motor Zapparich, which is a dollar oh four. Um, I'm guessing that's in handball as well. Um, I've taken T H W Keel to beat R K P P D Zagretti, which is paying a dollar oh eight, so big odds there. Um, I've taken Tasman to beat Northland in <laughs> in minor ten rugby, um, which is paying a dollar oh two. Um, now they're such favorites that you can't even get a plus line. So had to take them just to win. Um, I, <laughs> I've taken Penrith Panthers who were $1.12. Um, I've taken them plus 10 and a half. So they're dollar <laughs> two. <laughs> I've taken Parramatta Eels who again were $1.15, I think, or $1.12, something like that. I've taken them plus 10 and a half. So I've got a dollar or two. <laughs> I've taken um, now. I've got well, Bayern Munich and Schalke 04. Now I'm not super confident that Bayern Munich are going to win, so that's why I've taken Bayern Munich and the draw at a dollar oh one. Um, <laughs> when's that? When's that? On Saturday. Is it? Yep. I've then taken Melbourne Storm to beat um, West Tigers, but again, just to back myself up, I've taken them plus eight and a half, which is a dollar or two. Sydney Roosters, who are $1.09, I've taken them plus eight and a half, so that's $1.02. I've taken Gyori ET10 KC to beat Pod Ravka Koprinka in um, handball at $1.01. I've taken um, Zaxa, <laughs> Zaxa Kitty is in Kozel to beat. Badenex Bedzin. I don't even know what sport that's in, but they're paying a dollar <laughs> three. I've then gone Team Liquid to beat Triumph in esports. Um, that's paying a dollar or seven. So what game's a, that? Uh, I think I have no idea. Um, I've taken the Canberra Raiders um, plus eleven and a half at a dollar or three. Now Juventus are playing Sampdoria. Um, so I've taken them and the draw at a dollar oh three, um, just in case they draw. Um, I've taken Evil Geniuses at a dollar oh five to beat Triumph again. I've then taken the Renegades to beat Chiefs Esports Club. That's paying a dollar oh six. Then I've taken Tyloo to beat Beyond Esports, and that's paying a dollar oh four. So that's nineteen legs so far. 
Um, now I have, see, I did mention that I have two beds. So I took, I've got my um, Hail Mary, which is paying 1.9K, which has another leg. But um, before I did that, I added all those 19 um, legs together. And it's paying a dollar ninety two, so I've put another dollar <laughs> on that alone at a dollar ninety two. I've then um, I had to find something that it was a thousand to one um, to be able to get the odds up because even five hundred to one wasn't good enough. Six hundred um, to one would have got you there. No, I um, put that in there. So what I've taken is now in the U.S. Open. Um, Sandy Scott, I've taken to win the US Open at a thousand to one. Who? <laughs> Sandy Scott, obviously. Sandy Scott. Hold on. I think I know. Let me let me find Sandy Scott. You say that like you haven't heard of Sandy. Scott. Yeah, Sandy Scott. I don't reckon. I believe I saw it in uh yeah. That's exactly what I thought it is. Yeah, well, as a golf fan, you should know all about Sandy. So I was looking through. Um, so I was looking through the. Um, I was looking through the market for the U.S. Open today. The golf. So I had to select a tip for another competition, and I took Xander Schauffele. Um, but one of the things I looked at See, was that's not what, very smart because Sandy's going to win. I, 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 let me get to Sandy. So I looked at. So one of the things I did was I looked at all the amateurs in the field and I just brushed over all of them. But now remembering, I did see the name Sandy Scott who goes to uh, Texas A&M. He's a college golfer who somehow qualified for the US Open. Well, so. this is going to be his breakout game, obviously. So um, that's what's going to win me the um, Hail Mary. Would and be the most epic win. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if this guy wins? I'm going to be one of the three legs losers, and that's what comes up. One of the t- one of the legs with like plus thirty and a half and a dollar ten shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's what comes up. Yeah. He's got. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I, so I, yeah. I mean, I actually think he's a thousand to one to actually make the cut, let alone win the tournament. So. Yeah, it does seem that they max out at a thousand to one, but that's why I had to take. So, <laughs> yeah, I reckon if you asked, you could have got a thousand and one for him to make the cut. So, yeah, but oh well, he's gonna so, win. So you know, both bets would have won anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, he can get it done. See, when he wins, yeah. he's gonna make the cut anyway. So, it's a yeah. win no matter what. He's he's got. He's got no chance this week. Well, no, he has a, like a one in the, according to this, a one in a thousand or something shot. So, I actually want to see what the line for the winning score for the U.S. Open, if they've got a market up for that, what the winning score is for the U.S. Open this week. You can definitely find that somewhere. That's now, which one of you two put twenty cents on um, Mason Cox to win the Brownlow? <laughs> Uh, I don't my bowler account because if I try and do it with my own account, they wouldn't let me. Well, you had a guaranteed three votes last night, so. I think he's, I think he's probably going to win. So it's a good bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who has a better chance? Mason Cox of winning the Brownlow or Sandy Scott of winning the US Open? Sandy Scott has a better chance of winning the US Cox Open. Already not won the Brownlow. <laughs> <laughs> you only missed like half the season too What's that? Yeah, yeah, he didn't play Yeah, exactly I think That's if he got three votes in every game he played He still wouldn't even be able to win it Um, Yeah, I've seen his performances He's definitely not best on ground every match he plays so. Which is just clearly due to a referee bias, I think You know how they say that the umpires only give it to midfielders That's what's holding him back <laughs> If that wasn't the case. That's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Mason Cox. Yeah, so my um, multi's paying $1,926. $1,926. So we'll no. have a little bit of cash when Sandy Scott wins. Uh, 
It'll be it'll be epic if the dollar ninety two wins or not. <laughs> it would be, but it won't. Something will lose. It's too many legs. Eventually. Oh. I actually think some of those legs came up as like half a cent, but when it comes into this, they just put it as one cent. Well, there you go. You're exploiting them, getting their extra value on the clearly fantastic lines. Yeah. Dollar yeah. two and not lose easily. It's really good. Really when good you fun. get a 19 leg, a dollar 92 multi, really, it's where uh, the action is. Clearly there's some value in there. <laughs> Imagine if you worked out a strategy that was that, that actually made money. Yeah, you know what? Um, so there was a guy I was talking to a crown about sports. But I don't know if they still do. I think they changed it, right? So he was betting a cent, right, on all of the markets that were less than $2, right? Yeah. Or was it all the dollar ones it might have been even? Might have even – no, no, it was everything less than $2, right? Because what they would do is they would round it up. So if you're betting a cent on a dollar or one, they would pay you out two cents. We definitely had in that um the Israeli women's basketball that time. There that was a bet where up. it got rounded up. Yeah. 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 So he said this is what he was doing. He was going through everything that was less than two dollars and betting a cent on it. And then eventually he got a phone call from Sportsbet, and they're like, uh, "Hey, we've noticed you've been doing these one cent bets. Like, <laughs> you got to stop that, or we're going to ban you." <laughs> He's like, yeah, but I, I just kept doing it anyway, and then eventually they banned him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's like, I don't understand why they don't just change the way their thing works rather than saying we're going to ban you. Like, you can just change it and not pay out two cents. No, I think legally you would have to because it's like it, there, I, there's laws around it where you have to do, like, if you're in a – if you're a company that sells something that that gets to whatever, you have to, it's like a, if it's 97 cents, I think it gets rounded down, but if it's 98 cents, it goes up or something like that. There's some legal way where like by law you have to do it because. Well, I'm pretty the, sure they've changed it now. If you bet a cent on something like that, you're going to get your cent back. Probably. So. Yeah, well, I mean, or just introduce a minimum bet limit of minimum bet of five dollars or a dollar. Yeah, but that then what if smart. someone wants to put on like a degenerate multi, or they want to back Mason Cox to win the Brownlow? You could, lit- you could it's, literally. It's put- a bit ridiculous to ban him for screwing them at, for a cent at a time. Like you could literally put a minimum bet limit of five cents, and that would solve the problem, probably. Yeah, yeah, but in theory, like especially like if you're doing quaddies or some shit, if you wanted to do a two cent quaddy, that could actually cost you a fuckload. Well, that would just ban you from doing two cent quaddies. So no, that would be a hardcore gambler. Money out of it. It was just. It was just. I don't know why the fuck he was doing it. Why would you even bother? Yeah, it's not like, even worth the effort. Expect you're betting a cent at a time, but. I don't know. It's just for the purpose of exploiting it, I guess. So okay. if you place a hundred, you then get a dollar. How is that? That, in fact, that's something we know. Some we know someone who would do that. What's that? So we know someone who would do that. I don't think we would because he wouldn't be up for risking the set. <laughs> so there's yeah. that. The amount of time it would take you. Yeah, that's what he said too. He said it took so much time to go through it all and do it. It's just not even worth it, yeah. It's not, but it's funny. It's very funny. (laughs) It's hilarious. It's a funny story, but like if you... (laughs) Sorry. For someone to do it, it's just... Like if you could somehow automate it, it would be okay. Yeah, but even then, like the amount of time it would take you to automate it. Well, it depends if you're any good on you. That's Coding. Like, if you know how to like code and whatever. But even if you, I mean, if it takes you an hour to do, which seems like it would be fast time to do that, 
if it takes you one hour and say even at only twenty dollars an hour, you still need to do two thousand bets to break even on the amount of time. I mean, are you productive for every hour of the day though? I feel like it's I don't know. If you're just figuring it out at an hourly rate, it's just Yeah. I mean, it depends how long it lasts too. Yeah. But I don't think you'd do it long enough to justify it. Well anyway, we've broken the internet now. We've figured out how to make a cent. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure they changed the rules, so. Well, we figured out how you could have in the past yeah. made a cent. <laughs> a cent at a time. That's how you do it. That's a, that's the kind of um, quality advice we give here. How to, yeah. how to rip people off for one cent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And then you waste a hundred bets of it with your ridiculous salary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think of think of how much time these Hail Marys are costing in terms of one cent stealing we could be doing. It's a lot, for sure. Anyway, could be millionaires. Any other any other punting stories from the weekend? Not really. Um, I don't think so. Well, I oh, think like, I yeah, I haven't done much lately, to be honest. So. No, I've, I've been losing on my bets recently. Um, yeah, I, I, I copied the podcast strategy for my own, and I'm getting Collingwood for 500. Yeah, copying the podcast—that's an interesting. <laughs> probably take us on. No, I don't like the bonus bet stuff, but um, yeah. And we have how 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 Mary Maltese that get one leg up, <laughs> Make money fading it. It's all a ninety two nineteen leg Maltese. Winning no, how many legs do I have? Seven. So you'd have six winning bets out of seven if you just faded all of my legs. So maybe everyone out there was should be very good profit actually. My legs from a how Mary and you make bank. No, I reckon. One of your crazy, one of your crazy hail marys will get up. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I reckon it will. It was based on nothing, so <laughs> it's a complete fluke. You can see he just went in order of games too, where it was just yeah, random. It was. I don't know if you guys heard the story. There was a punter a couple of weeks ago in the UK. He backed ten horse. He backed it was it was it was six horses to win at. At uh, two different venues, I can't remember the race numbers, but he literally went from one race venue to the next, to the next, to the next. He went two race venues um, sequ- um, sequence races, and he backed the same number. He backed number ten in those those six races, and they all won. So he literally put it on for a dollar, just for hail mary crap, and paid. Oh, I think it was something like a hundred thousand or something. Something ridiculous. Wow. So your 7,000 is has the potential to get up. <clears throat> I mean, it has the potential because in theory it could, but realistically. Exactly. You always could, but it, it won't. Yeah, and how many people place random bets that didn't get up? Yeah, exactly. Lots of people. Sandy Scott could win the US Open golf. I mean, who knows? <laughs> uh, Sandy Scott will win the US Open golf. Thank you very much. I'll and then next now, week. <laughs> even if even if that that Hail Mary loses and Sandy Scott wins the US Open, you will you'll be able to say you heard it here first. Yeah, but then we won't have two grand and I think I'd rather have two grand actually. I know, but the sheer fact you've picked an amateur a college kid to win the US Open is look I look I, I have my ear to the ground, I know these things. When was the last time you swung a golf club? Hey, and you both spoke at once. When was the last time you swung a golf club? Um, <laughs> at some point, <laughs> possibly. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Possibly like the Filipino show would be. Oh no! Last year, I... no, actually earlier this year, I played crazy golf in the UK. So okay, crazy so, golf. Yeah, it's, it's um, it's kind of like um, mini golf, but it's it's a cross between mini golf and a nightclub. <laughs> okay. It's actually pretty cool. And they have um all the holes are like designed it's, like different things. So it's, mini putt, it's basically mini putt putt golf. For adults though. Um do you know And people drink and shit while it's going on, but then they have like um, some of the holes are like really X rated themed. Have you heard of Holy Moly Golf, Andrew? <laughs> Holy Moly. Yeah. No. So it's like basically mini putt putt for adults where you can just get pissed. Oh yeah. So um, that's yeah. we actually had the people in front of us let us play through because they were so drunk that they couldn't <laughs> play. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds I, like I went and did this as like a work function thing about I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. And I got booted out because I was too pissed. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> In fact, I, in fact, I can tell you when it happened. Uh, when did we come back from um, the Philippines, the last trip we did for the Philippines? By the way, I'm looking at Holy Moly, and this is like a child's version of what the crazy golf was. Okay, okay yeah. The, the crazy golf, like, they had holes that were basically, like, you'd walk yeah, into we, a... We, we get the understanding. Yeah. <laughs> It's outstanding. Yeah, one of the one of the holes, um, you had to shoot around. Um, there was a cage and a um, a uh, mannequin in a gimp outfit in the um, cage. Yeah. Well, maybe in twenty twenty four we can we can do that. Uh, probably nice. not. We'll be in lockdown by then still. So. Yeah. <laughs> but by that stage, you might be able to start planning. When in like 2030, we might actually be able to go outside and go, <laughs> go for a walk. We'll be yeah. alive in 10 years. Yeah. Good. Can't wait. Exciting times. All right. Happy punting, boys, for this week. Come on, Smart Promise. That's all I can say. Oh, I know. Come on, Sandy Scott, please. Come on, Sandy Scott as well. <laughs> Sandy Scott's the big one. Yeah. My, my um, putt putt golf experiences taught me that this is Sandy Scott's year. I like it. I see. It's a good it's gonna be the next tiger. Yep. Maybe Actually next- really be like the next John Daly. That's a they good chance. once and then fucking <laughs> <laughs> fall off a no. cliff. Yeah. All right, righty. All right boys. Enjoy the rest of your night. All right then. Good Until luck all. Until next, next time, time Sandy Scott. Hunting. Sandy Scott. Come on, Sandy Scott.